proxy is not that amazing with the exception of the draw aura. Yeah. And Nature's Prophet's decent in the offlane, quite good usually, but they have the counter, which is Enchantress. So, going to be a little bit of fight here. They stole a Treant. Watch out. Oh no, he's been thieved. He oh. stole your baby. Ah, he's, he's going up. Let's try and get the vision here. We're going to see the try and get themselves a bit of a kill here. They it's like it. up to the going to be quite fully first. And then Mike Fox says, good morning, return. So we see free going down, but it was the first bird there for the side of complexity. Shadow going to be forced back. He's got a free tango down to so should be all right. Meanwhile, Faith just uh, giving Chesley the long run back down to this bottom lane. So one for one, but Complexity are the ones to get first, but Yeah, so that's uh, Hanskin on the Winter Wyvern getting the, the start there. And Queen of Pain, because she does, she does also heal. So it won't be too bad for her in the mid lane. And I, I think that's... He does, because he Drow just left on her own at the moment. If the Enchantress can get down there. But actually turning attention towards mid. Top lane as well at the same time. Looking to try and corner Swindles. He's got the back of a Z Freak and Hanskin though. And Shadow, Ice Ice, they have to be careful. Z Freak bouncing in. Shadow, he will pounce away. And Ice Ice, he's going to go for the oh. out with the, the Infernal Blade oh. there from the man. And he'll get it. Z Freak. Catching him out, I believe that was, yeah, the level one blade. Well, that was quite a long distance gank there. Didn't they start in the mid lane, and then they found their way to the top. Well, at least they found a target. Good for them. Absolutely working out. And, of course, worth noting as well that the Ant still yet to make a, a move. She's she's hanging around the mid lane, but the quad... She'll probably go now. He used Orb. See if they can do it. Yeah, salving up as well. Uh, Blink is ready for this one. If they can get a couple of smashes in, Limp. Two seconds, though, and he's got the Orb back up. Here we go, there we go! Oh! 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 Clap, clap, everybody! <laughs> There we have it. It was smart of him to go northeast. It was the only way that he gets out of there. But the creeps did collapse on him, and they they will be be favoring wings, and and this lark suddenly having a better time than the drown this bottom lane. And they've been a little bit more static on the map. But look at this beastmaster just going in past the tower. He's got boy coming in as well on the edge. They're gonna look two mana. Oh, oh. He's got it. He's got one. The question is gonna get more now. Is he free coming in? Faith. He could be the one in trouble. Z free being slowed down here by the boar, and now. Jesse trying to move in the blade, gonna start to tick down the Ench, but Ench, with that movement speed, will be able to get herself away, so at this point, Z-Freak just unable to punish this on the Doom. Well, they do zone him oh. back, and he gets, a, he gets to eat a free creep, so... He has got a clap, if he can get himself close enough, but... Yeah, it's... Yeah, we won't kill. He, yeah, he he's needs... not gonna be able to chase this. Yeah. 40 more mana, maybe. Oh, maybe oh, we're gonna see that Windows coming in. Oh, what a block! They need to block it, there's your blade, and now one more snap, and... Uh, yes, oh, yeah. Nice rotation there from the MP. Yeah, that was really nice to do. Z-Freak's now got 800 gold in the bank, so... We'll see what he buys. Um, most likely will be Tranquil Booth. Ah, it's definitely not the first time. He <laughs> just keeps doing it. That is sad. Poor Enchantress. Anyway, down in the middle lane, we see another rotation on the quad He's trying to go in here with the DD. It's what is very that? ambitious. Okay. Um, <laughs> alrighty. That's a freebie for Blink. I mean, meanwhile, bottom, they will find a kill onto Wings in return, but... Z Freak, just a little bit too young like that. Yeah, that's a play I usually make. Uh, it doesn't work out, but it, it looks kind of good. They knew Blink was off cooldown, but I think he was maybe expecting Swindles to come in, and then he cancelled, so he was kind of oh. just committed. Nice uh, cascade from Ice Ice. He's going to save the edge, but it looks like he'll pay of his own life. The slow's coming out. And he's trying to gonna make them work for it. Uh, it doesn't matter the end of the day, and they will find themselves a kill, so give himself a second one down here, Complexity. And mid lane. Oh, it's got to be a bit careful. Oh, let's blink now with the sonic wave available. So if there's an opening, he'll have a good chance of bursting down this puck. But of course, very elusive character. It's going to be hard to catch him. Wishing that do in terms of stopping it. Was this drow? It's, it's a pretty strong push to have. We're just seven minutes in and already the tier two. In a bit of a, a dire position. See if, uh, if there's any answers. Could be Ice Ice. In fact, wrapping around the back, he's kind of on his own here. There's a crop on the sidelines, but Ice Ice very aggressively rotating in from behind, and, and he's just going to get taken down on the high ground. Blink has got a Sonic Wave, but he's got to be careful about jumping into these guys. And well, with a hero down, Wings, I'm out of trouble defending against this if Complexity continue with this, and, and they're going to stick around here, realizing the opening. They're going to go for a second down. Oh, the Dream Call and the Blast on to do him. Jumps in there, take it down to Beastmaster before he can get out any spells. They'll have Shadow coming through down the slot, the rotation. They'll burst down the Doom. Complexity is still hanging. Cast going to be duked out. Quap moving forward. Dang it. Connects on the limb, and he gets himself back. Oh, the cast, though. Oh. Still bounce against Shadow. They're going to try and jump in more. Sonic Wave coming onto Limb, but Limp, he should still be able to play this one away and get himself out. And the space is created. Complexity, they get themselves the tower and they just trade a doom there for the beastmaster swindles go for the tp out is he gonna make it no okay so wings with that managed to find a little, find a little bit more for the slark so yeah, it certainly was a good job that the slark reacted to that because we're without him they wouldn't be able to find anything in return oh man i can't believe we're eight minutes in and they got both of their mid lane wants to say that yeah this is a very risky one for slark
Unless you can get help, you've got what well, Beastmaster coming, coming in as well, and, and he does have Raw back up. So and if they can roll the Doom, they can certainly go for this kill, because they'll have time to punch in, get the combo out, and oh, yep, is going to be able to duke it out. As soon as the arms are raised, pop in the Shadow Dance to make sure Z-Freak can't continue the cast. And that's a nice clean kill there for Wings. Yep, they had to wait for that Beast Master to rotate up, but the Roar got it done, and the boys are on the hunt. It's all lame, Wings. Over the push, nice defensive last onto two, four will come out, Z3, can he close the gap? Ah, indeed, this. with the Winter's Curse to set this one up, and the burst down from Lim. Now, I used to take the ages out of the house, Lim, in cold embrace, and should be able to play his way out of this one, and he will, as we can see, Wings already trying to disengage, they got the Doom out onto the slot, but he's going to be speedy enough, Sonic Wave flying through, punishing the Limp's aggression, but he's been coiled up, Ice Ice falling low, Chessy falling even lower, though, Chessy going to get taken down, Quat will fall in return, Ice Ice as well, but now Shadow coming back in, looking for the cleanup, they've found Three for complexity, they're gonna find four here. Wings, a huge fight again, and now this slot, 4-1-4. Four, four. four money, more XP, and complexity, they can't afford to lose fights like that. It actually worked out quite nice for Wings. Despite the Witch Doctor being out of position, he took a lot of focus from complexity there, and Slark was able to get out. Um, obviously, they did have Aegis on Quap, so dooming him wouldn't have been a good idea, but didn't really do that much against Slark either. They need to... Uh, I like the Winter Wyvern Old Doom. It's kind of nice, because you can set it up. It's okay if the damage doesn't do damage. It's really just a guaranteed setup, <laughs> but... Hey, just taunting him, man. This Enchantress. Same care, man. Untouchable and sprocking away. Woo! Let her go. Yeah, I've got a point turning up as well. A little trying to close the gap. Meanwhile, top lane. Shadow closing the gap onto Jesse. Yes, he's got to run, he's got to hide, but another dark pack coming through, it'll be enough, but again, Shadow, I mean, at this point, he can get away with that, and that's what's going to be really scary for Complexity. Yeah, that's not going to be the last time that happens this yeah. game. Um, he's going to have a Mantle Style soon as well, um, or Dream Coil into Doom, something like that is, is a decent option. Oh, but... this Witch Dogs is very, very deep. Nice, oh. nice. Due Restoration versus Scorched Earth hit. And he went level 4. Now he's doing a lot. But Elvis Windows, though, gets the Sprout block up, and Doom chops in, moves in for the finishing blow. And uh, they will punish the Witch Doctor, who's uh, uh, very, very far across the enemy side of the map there. On his own, mid lane, Limp, in position, but at the same time, you've got Wings wrapping around from all sides, all four of them, Limp, thinking himself back, getting himself away. Very aware that the roar oh, will come through the hole with that setup and the stun, that will allow them to get the roar off Sonic Wave as well, but can they burst him down there? They can! Big control, big kill, but in return, the Winter's Curse. Locking down the Quap. They can find him one in return. Shadow was doomed, but again, just staying out of Vision's way, healing back up. He's gonna be fine, and... It's the Quap for the Puck trade there going on in the mid lane. Dude, that Centaur stomp was insane from Enchantress. He, he was totally prepared for Puck going that way. It's the stun and guarantees the Roar. And that's gonna give him a tier 1 tower mid. They did lose some heroes there, but... Oh, great deny from Drow. Ooh! Look at the ball, Z free. He's trying to move him from one with a set up for Swindles. Sprout out onto the man, but he's got the access to <laughs> chop the trees down. They won't be able to close it. In fact, Shadow trying to come back in here. He's got the Shadow Dance bounding away at Hasken. Probably bracing himself. He's going to be fine for the time being, but the rest of Complexity now trying to go back and fight something in return. Sprout onto the edge, healing up. It's not going to be enough. Nature Draft comes through. Shadow trying to jump back in. Oh, it takes a huge amount of damage there for the Nature Draft. The cask is good. The Dead Ball brings Z3 right. He'll get the Doom kill, but now Chessy with the silence. And now Chessy on the Drow doing a hell of a lot of damage. Trying to go, oh! The Witch Doctor stayed alive there. Chessy thought that, was dead. that kill was a dead cert, but it was not. Witch Doctor plays around. The Silence Wind is trying to team to get the vision with the Sprout, and he does. They know exactly where the Quap is and Lim should be able to cancel this one indeed. Jumps in, jumps the coil. Great play from Swindles there to get the vision for Lim's follow up. That's not a hard kill to get, but yeah, they, they just all predicted that's it. Yeah, there's one thing that Complexity's showing off, it's their ability to kill people that are trying to escape. I mean, two guys hiding in the trees and picked out two times, so... Woo! You can't hide from Complexity. And uh, Z-Freak going this uh, Blade Mail Doom build again. It's kind of interesting, but... From a support role, if he yeah. ever gets behind, he can always do more damage. And got the signs of the vape, and there's your Gus follow-up as well. Chessy coming in, and they got the damage to do it. Well, with Swindles, they certainly have. Nice play there between Limp and Jesse, just, just getting the silences one after another to make sure the beast can't come out of any plays. Oh my god! And Wings, they're going to be the ones to go into Roshan, we saw Complexity were starting to try and go for it. They've kind of set it up nicely here for the side. There's Dream quite a lot, Winter's Curse, you know, they've got all the ults complexity. They're just missing a Doom here for this, this play. Oh, they got to watch out, that Mud Golem does have the ability to throw a rock! Sneak. Ooh! Limp, scanning it out with the orb. It's going to see it's relatively low. 
Uh, yeah, oh, they've got the wrong hands. Gets started as well. But Limp jumps in now with the response. Dream Call looks too. Waning Rift as well. Ice Ice falling around. They get the wish. Dr. Chessy trying to move in, but already Wings. They managed to get themselves the edges onto Shadow Slot. Faith falling low here. Trying to chase down Swindle. Swindle's leaving the DBL. Is he going to make it? No, he can't. And then now with the jump in from the quad. They're not done. Wings are in one side. Wait, Dr. Chessy. It's going to be a third. And now Shadow trying to chase down Limp. He's got an all, but all the silence comes through just in time. Wings hitting back hard there. Aegis. And four kills under their belt there. And nothing's looking really bad. Draw Rangers. So on the plus side for Complexion, not losing anyone there, but we're already seeing just how hard it is, even with three heroes rotating in oh, to kill. Oh, Indeed, the Slark and the carry for Complexity oh. and return Chessy. Very easy for Wings to jump on and, and burst down immediately. I mean, yeah. she, she doesn't even have new items yet. She still has Manta style. And she's having a really hard time staying alive. They're just getting picked. She's constantly the only person dead on their team. I mean, and that is just not what you're looking for with the Drow Strat. I mean, she can't even go anywhere aggressive because she knows that there's like three heroes that can set up kills on her. If the Beastmaster Hawk gets her, she dies. Oh. Okay, bottom tank lane taking some major damage. The Necro books, the push from the Slark, oh, and the jump in. He's just jumping in, he does not care at all. Pops the Shadow Dust starts to steal the essences from Hanskin. The Sonic Wave flies through. It's gonna be two down, they're gonna both fight back here. Silence and Dream Call on to do, but Shadow Boomer caved up. Gets himself out of the start. They will kill the Quad, but of course, she's got the Aegis ready for round two. And she does have Lincoln. So they have the lockdown to deal with him. Oh. The Blink's out in time and Complexity, they're brought back for this. They love to try and find a kill. They're throwing the all forward, jumping in silence, just onto Blink. Ice Ice, Glimmer caved up. Can't even kill the Witch Doctor and Wings. So they're going to get themselves out with that one as well. They poke, they prod, they manage to get two buybacks out from the side of complexity. So next time that push comes in, it's going to be pretty, pretty fatal. Too, too long, now you're bound. Bottom tower is all gone. Sad story. Where are you going? Oh, and she stole a woman there. Interesting. There's so many thieves going on today. I'm oh, loving it. Oh, wait, initiation again. Straight back in. Z3 orchid it up. The Doom's down, and now Chessie getting rolled up. That's your oh. gone as well. Three left alive on the side of Complexity, and now Swindles is gone. An absolute bloodbath here. The Winter's Curse will buy some time, holding back Ice Ice and Fate, but Shadow with a double kill as he cleans up the puck as well. And Drow, no buyback available for this fight. Limp and Swindles do. But again, I'm wings 33 to 20. This drow strap for complexity really falling off at this point of the game on wings. We're seeing them just each and every time come out on top of complexity. What's their answer? Wow, they're going to be jumped on again. Straight in. That's going to be one. Z-Free falling onto the emphasis in the second and third. Again, a complexity just crumbling to the bottom wings this time. It's a lovely dream coil. In fact, they might kill Ice Ice and they will. They'll get one, Limp, trying to play around the Doom on Shadow, bringing him low. Can they finish him off with the burst? But Limp, he's got to get himself back. Swindles as well. He will finish off the Beast. So maybe just, it's going to be enough to keep themselves in. It's only the two of them, but they will lose the bottom racks. But, and then they don't, in a situation that looked like it could be, you know, at the end of that. They managed to hold on and, and keep the game going, but, but only just burst. Uh, yeah, they had to buy back there because they know that if they just time it correctly, they can definitely chain stun people and get kills. And they need to get a lot of kills to come back in this game. Oh, they're looking for the wraparound. Limp going in with the orb. Wings though, there, there with the return. And a roar onto Chessie. Hex onto Limp. Sonic Wave onto both of them. Double kill for Blink. And now Freak. He's not going to be able to TP away. It's the third one. And Wings. They may have just done it here. They're taking down three. None of them with buyback available. And they're going to come pang down the mid and Swindles and Wyvern. I don't know if they're going to be able to hold this on their own. It's going to be tough. 40 seconds. Uh, Winter Wyvern is great for split or counter pushing, and Nature's Prophet in the meantime is on the bot lane. But I, don't, I don't think that's going to be enough. Definitely a second Rax here going down. Very possibly a third as well. Oh no. There, there goes straight yeah, to the top. No buybacks. Oh no. I played this game very, very smartly. Radiance We've seen for pretty much the last 15 attack. minutes, it feels like completely just getting one kill. And every time, Wings Radiance just hitting back hard. The Drow Strat certainly Ooh, doesn't look to have worked out on Wings. 39 minutes in now. Complexity, have they got one final oh fight in them? Stag on Witch Doctor comes out. Wings, and then they have it. Mjolnir now done on the Enchantress. It's all coming out now. Swindles still pushing that bottom lane. He's going to have to come back and join the defense here. 20 seconds. They do have a fortification and all. Okay, Z3 has gone. Shadow just diving the base on this slot. Two dead. Both are still without buyback and wings onto the ancient and complexity. They're holding here. 
Uh, we're only, they're, they're not calling it over yet, but it pretty much looks to be all that. Limp, nice dream call onto two, trapping them in the base. And he will Ooh. kill the slot, but they, the H has fallen. GG is now called, and Gomlesi, they tried their best to hold in, but for the past 20 minutes, it just was all downhill for them. Yeah, they, they really needed to execute that a little better. They needed to get more advantage in the early game. And Slurk just got a lot of kills in the early game, and it transitioned in him just hard countering the Draw Ranger. And if Draw Ranger can't continue to accelerate, then they just start will start stagnating. And